derailed one year later. Restoration efforts continue after that toxic train derailment in East Palestine. Dozens of people were forced out of their home, if you remember, for weeks. First at four, Winnie Dorch was there as the head of the Ohio EPA came to East Palestine. The one year anniversary of the East Palestine train derailment is just around the corner. Ohio EPA Director Ann Vogel says their restoration efforts never stopped. We're not going anywhere, that we will be here, we will continue making sure that drinking water is safe. A Norfolk Southern train derailed February 3rd. Five train cars were carrying the toxic chemical vinyl chloride. Emergency crews set off a controlled burn instead of waiting for it to possibly explode. Since then, a massive effort from local, state, and federal officials. Wednesday morning, Vogel discussed their game plan as the cleanup continues. Three areas of focus. First, soil samples. It means take all of the contaminated media out of the town. So that's the water and the soil. Um, now what we're doing is going back and making sure that we got it all. They're also checking the creeks. Now it's about what product is still in the creeks, where is it, and at what levels, and then cleaning it. And last, site restoration, backfilling the holes where crews work to remove the soil. Vogel says they have data pre- and post-derailment. It is that data, it is that those test results that give us the confidence to say that we don't believe there's a human health risk here in East Palestine. And the Ohio EPA director says she doesn't expect this to be a long-standing environmental cleanup. However, if you are interested in learning more about these testing results, all the data is online. In East Palestine, Winnie Dorch, 19 News.